All right, we're going to be talking about Redo. Uh, it's a backup and restore application. It's free. It's basically a live CD you burn, and uh, you boot up to it from a laptop or a computer. And what we're going to do is go ahead and boot right off to the CD. I already have it downloaded and burned it onto this disk. Our first screen here is uh, just gives you a few options. Start Redo Backup, Safe Mode, Check CD for Defects, Memory Test. Um, I just want to make a complete bare metal backup of this hard drive just in case uh, you know I want to try to sell this laptop I can revert it back to how it is, how it was right now or if I, you know the hard drive crashes I want to put another hard drive in I can pop a new one in and just run this restore and um, it will do a bare metal recovery restoration for us um, at this point, it's going to go ahead and boot this right off the CD. It's going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come right back. So our two options are backup and restore. Yeah, you do have like a little start menu down here, and you got uh, accessories where you got a file manager, image viewer, terminal, text editor, and web browser, and also you got some disk utility tools, disk reset or drive reset, file recovery, partitioner, oops, uh, partition editor, and usage analyzer and some administration stuff. Create a bootable USB, customize appearance, hardware lister, monitor settings, software packages, and Windows settings. Um, I've never really messed with any of that other stuff, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and make a backup, and then it, towards the end of this video, we're going to restore it back. And So I'm going to make some changes after the backup, and then we'll restore it, and we'll see how the changes were uh, restored back to the backup. So I'm going to select backup. This spins up. Okay, it's identifying the disk drives. Here it's looking to see what other internal drives we have or what internal drives we have. Also, like probably USB drives and you know, USB external drives. For this scenario, we just have the one hard drive that's in this machine. It's a 230 gig hard drive. It's actually 250, I think, but whatever. Got all the partitions here. I want to do the entire drive, so I'm leaving the default um, selected, all, of, all the partitions selected and hit next. Now it's saying where do you want to save it to if I had another internal drive or if I had like a USB external drive. Um, those options would show up here but in this scenario we do not. So we're going to do shared over the network. I'm going to delete the example that they have here and just go ahead and put in my shared directory where we're going to be saving this backup to. Um, it's going to be stdc-1, it's my, one of my servers, and forward slash redo. That is the network share I created just for this purpose. I'm going to go ahead and use um, a username and password, even though I gave everyone rights to that directory at the moment just for this video. Um, I'll go ahead and still put these in for the sake of doing it. And the domain. So I'm going to hit next. Right now it's saying, all right, do you want to put it in that root folder, in the redo folder, or do you want to browse and create another one or whatever? Let's go ahead and create a folder. Let's call it... Uh, YouTube example. Hit enter. Alright, it's created that folder, so now we're in it. I'm going to say save here. Now the next option here is, oh, it's just brought us back to that to that list. We're just verifying, yeah, we want to put in the subfolder YouTube-example. So I'm going to hit next. Here's where you name the file. It's going to actually create a ton of files in there depending on how big um, the drive is or how much data is on the drive. Uh, the default is going to just put the date, which for the most part probably would work, but we're going to add uh, YouTube-example. So we'll hit next, and here we go. It's going to go ahead and it's already, it's already saving to the network. Um, it's at 3.6, let's go pretty fast, but I think somewhere midway it's going to slow down a little bit. Uh, it says the lapse, lapse time is 12 seconds, remaining is 20, 18 seconds, but I think that will fluctuate a little bit. So what I'm going to do at this point is um, pause the tape, and we will come back once we are almost done or done, depending on if I make it back in time. Okay, we're done here. Um, when it's done, it just says operation complete. Uh, I don't know how long it took because I walked away and I did some housework, but uh, it uh, I'd say probably an hour. All right, so I go ahead and hit OK, and it's pretty much done. Just hit exit, and let's go look at, and then you can go ahead and shut it off, or just re hit re reboot down here, and it'll pop out the drive and say go ahead and hit enter to continue. So let's go check it out on the computer to see what the directory looks like. 
All right, so here we go. We are in the directory where we saved. This is where we created that folder YouTube example. And then here's the file name that we set up. It was with the date and the YouTube example. And it created all these and you can see it broke it down to different parts in two gig increments. All right, so we just booted back up here. Let me go ahead and log in. And we'll make a we'll make an easy change. We'll just change the background or the wallpaper, just so it's noticeable on the changes. So uh, let's go ahead and right click. Let's see, personalize. Let's change it to I don't know some architect theme. All right, so we're in the architect theme now. I'm just going to go ahead and um, reboot and boot onto the CD. Run the restore. Okay, we're booted back up here. I'm going to go ahead and hit restore this time. And it takes us right to where do you want the, where's the source of the, uh, the backup? And we have to select it. It is in that network share, which is going to be my server name. And redo, and then I'll just go ahead and still do this. Hit next says click the box below select the image file we are going to select it from the YouTube dash example folder that we had created and there's the file that it's looking for it's file name dot backup and hit open next select select the destination drive you wish to, to overwrite and restore so again we only have one hard drive plugged in we're going to select that and hit next and are you sure you want to restore the backup? Doing so will permanently overwrite data on this drive. Yes. So right now it's going to pull that image off and restore our hard drive. We will come back in just a moment when it's complete. Okay, and we're back here. Operation complete is our message. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to hit exit down here once this closes. I don't know how long it took. It may have been like an hour and a half, maybe even a couple of hours, but it's kind of late at night now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just restart. So I'm not sure exactly how long it was, but uh, I'm going to restart and we'll come back here once it's up. I'm go ahead and log in real quick. And the theme and desktop is back to how it was when we first started.